Awesome. So Mary, why don't we go ahead and start with um, you just introducing yourself and telling everybody kind of how you got involved with Faraway Friends. All right. So hi, I'm Mary. Uh, I go by M though. Um, I go, oh, I'm also <laughs> the president of the Dakota Ridge Faraway Friends uh, Club. Um, I got involved because Jamie came into Mr. Purcell's, our teacher sponsors, um, freshman algebra class in 2022 during the pandemic. And she talked about issues that are going on in Uganda and what Faraway Friends does and how they help. And at the end, both her and Mr. Purcell said, hey, if you want to start a club, please talk to us. And, and I want to be a person who makes a change in the world. I want to be able to help people turn their lives into something beautiful. I want to be able to help people make a change in the world and actually do something that matters and not just sit around and hope that somebody else does it for them. So I immediately talked to Jamie and Mr. Purcell and was like, I want to start this club. That is awesome. Um, every time you talk about why you got involved with Faraway Friends, it always like makes me so proud. <laughs> um, so you were a sophomore when you started your Faraway Friends Club? Um, so yes and no. <laughs> it was... I was a freshman when we started to, or when we tried to start the club up, but I was a sophomore when we went in person and the club actually got started up. So yes, technically I was a sophomore when the club was first started. <laughs> started in person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. That is amazing. Um, so could you talk a little bit about like what uh, your club at Dakota Ridge High School does like day to day like what is a typical meeting like for you guys yeah absolutely so currently we do these challenges every month because of giving tuesday uh we've kind of put our challenges on hold and are um focusing on giving tuesday and trying to get our school into donating to giving tuesday and what a club meeting looks like is essentially we all get together in Mr. Purcell's room and we go over, okay, how can we advertise this the best? What do we want to have on our morning announcement? Like, what do we, who's going to do the morning announcement? Do we... It's a lot of figuring out what would and what won't work. And... It's a lot of trial and error, but um, that's essentially all, all we do is we just kind of talk and we're like, hey, what would work best for getting our message out there? Awesome. And can you talk a little bit about your sister school that your school supports? Yeah. Um, so our sister school is Augie Doc, um, and they, they're pretty cool. Uh <laughs> From what I've heard from them in our pen pal letters, they seem to be pretty cool um, people. <laughs> and so that's really exciting. It's really, I'm pretty sure as well, we're the only high school partnered with another high school, right? I believe so. Yep. Yeah. So that's also it's our age. And it's really neat to connect with them and um, then try to work as hard as we can to work forward in the process of building up their school and building up their education to get them to be able to change the world and in turn get us to be able to change the world. Sorry, I'm That's really awesome. bad at wording things. No, you're doing great. This is awesome. Um, so you talked a little bit about the pen pal program um, and mm -hmm. we do this with all of our schools for schools clubs. You get to exchange letters with the students at your sister school. Um, is there anything like surprising or just especially memorable about some of the letters you've received from your pen pal? Um, well, 
really amazing to see like the differences like that was almost a given like there's going to be differences in everyone's place like we're across the world from each other like it's going to be different but Mm -hmm. it's really interesting to see the similarities and it's it's so I don't want to say weird but like it's so cool and fascinating to be like oh well we have like this in common like we also have all of these differences but that's so cool that we have this in common like oh my goodness I with all of the differences we have I wouldn't have thought that we would have something in common like that's amazing that's so exciting like I don't know it's so nice to kind of reach out to someone you don't know and who is completely across the world and be able to realize hey we have a lot of similarities if that makes sense so. yeah it absolutely does I um I find myself surprised by that too when I when we go through the pen pal letters to kind of distribute them to the schools um how much you guys have in common like you said you're both high school students right so you have classes you have you know chores you have to do like they might look really different right because you're eight thousand miles apart but um I was also surprised by the amount of similarities are Um, students in the U.S. clubs and students in the Uganda clubs have found um, a lot of common ground. So I think that that's really cool also. Um, Could you talk a little bit about um, what you've learned working with faraway friends in your schools for schools clubs? Um, And this could be about, you know, like international development or Uganda in general, but just like kind of things that you've learned, maybe even some things that have been surprising um, as you've worked. You've been, you've been in club for two years right yep awesome so in the last two years just like what have you learned working with faraway friends in schools for schools I've learned and this is going to sound very basic I've (laughs) learned to look outside of myself if that sound like that sounds so like oh well of course but um I think every time I say it it gets more overused but if I'm being honest like regardless of how I started this club yeah I wanted to start it so other people could have a chance to change the world I've really opened up and seen that it's not just me who can do it we need to look around and find the people who are willing to do it um and sorry that makes no sense we need to look around and find the people who are also willing to change the world and give people the opportunity to change the world and it really and you know I've learned a lot about Uganda in the small amounts of uh like of seeing their culture that I have it's interesting to see how all of these issues impact them yet they keep bouncing back and I think it's important to again find people who are your age people who are interested in what you're doing and people who want to help and actually give them the opportunity to help other people and look outside of themselves like I'm sorry I make no sense 90% of the time (laughs) you're you're doing great Em this is this is excellent um and I can attest to the students that you found at Dakota Ridge um you found a really great group of kids who like yourself really, really care about um, people they've never met all the way across the world. They really want to make a difference. Um, and your yeah, leadership is a big part of that. You've done a great job in in leading that group. So I totally know what you mean. Um, something that I think is really cool about Dakota Ridge is that you guys do these monthly challenges. Um, can you talk a little bit about those and, and kind of why you do them? Yeah, so we do monthly challenges what that is is we pick like this one event like I think in February we're doing a donut eating competition where I think <laughs> we awesome. put like donuts on strings and we have teachers eat them or I I, <laughs> I cannot remember um but or maybe it's a snowball fight I don't know we're gonna have an indoor <laughs> snowball fight uh where we have like fake fluffy plush snowballs and we let people just throw them at people (laughs) and we're probably new class against class so freshman against senior you know Mm -hmm. um and it's basically a time when we can pull students from 
their classes and get them engaged with not only what we're doing, but also, uh, oh my goodness, but also um, with um, our whole school is doing. Get them engaged with other kids that are, while also telling them, hey, this is what we do. Um, And we get them hopefully excited about doing the challenge and seeing what we're going to do next to where they actually donate and they actually focus on what's going on. And maybe they're like, oh, you know, this is a really cool club. Like, this is a really cool organization. This is a really cool, like, everything. I should definitely go and see what they're about. Um, And that's honestly our true goal of these challenges is to kind of inspire you join us and actually make a difference in the world I guess yeah that's I love your guys's challenges you're so creative and um I like that you mentioned the community aspect too I think it's so cool that you guys bring like your whole school together sometimes in these challenges um and so it builds community at Dakota Ridge while also supporting the community at your sister school so I just I think it's so creative what you guys do do you have a favorite challenge that you've done so far I think last year the snowball fight didn't go as good as we had hoped, but that one was my favorite. Um, not only were students allowed to participate in it, it just it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was it was nice being able to just hit people with snowballs. <laughs> yeah, I was not gonna say have I want to worry. Do that. that sounds fun. Yeah, and not have to worry about like hurting them or anything because you know they're fake and it's right. not ice and it's not you know, it's not full of gravel, like actual snowballs could be. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. My favorite was definitely the snowball fight last year. And I'm excited that we're bringing it back this year. Yeah, that'll be so fun. Um, I also loved, was it last year that you guys did the wing challenge? Yes. Nice. I loved the wing challenge. It was so funny. We have a video, um, on our YouTube that maybe we'll play after this. Um, of just all your teachers. <laughs> I heard that some of some teachers had to go home after because they were they, like they did. They like <laughs> yeah, they had to go home early. That is so, so funny. funny. <laughs> I yeah, I just love how creative you guys are. Um last thing I would say, um last question I have for you is if anyone's interested in starting a schools for schools club um at their own school or maybe even joining a club that's already at their school. Um, what would you say to someone who wants to get involved with Schools for Schools? If you're going to start your own club, expect it to be hard at first to find people and just realize you're going to have to talk with people. When (laughs) I first started, I did not want to talk with people, but you're going to have to. You're going to have to reach out to the student body and be like, hey, please, like, this is a great opportunity for you. It's going to help. Um, and if you're wanting to join a club, go for it. It's really amazing and life-changing once you get into it because you do. You make friends. You meet people that you probably wouldn't have outside of school. And it's really interesting to just join something that's bigger than just yourself. Nice. Nice. Thank you so much, Em, for taking the time today to talk about Schools for Schools. Um, This is going to be up on our live stream, so we're going to be live streaming all day. Like Em said, it is Giving Tuesday, so we are trying to raise $25,000 to fund the future for students at Agidoc, for students across the Amolotar District in northern Uganda. Um, And Em and their club are a huge part of our success of doing that. So thanks so much, Em, for hanging out with me today and answering my questions. Absolutely. Have fun. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Have a good day.